everybody and welcome back to another destiny video in this destiny video i'll be showing you guys a quick crota's end glitch that obviously i'll show you how to do and this allows you to get 100 weight of darkness in the first part of the crota's end raid which is the weekly 390 age of triumph raid this week now really there's no benefit to this except if you would like to challenge yourself and make the raid a little bit harder for you then you could try and your fire team to complete this first part with 100 weight of darkness and believe me i've tried and it is not something easy so stay tuned to learn how to do this all right guys now you're gonna obviously want to start up the crota's end raid once you spawn in you're going to want to activate this plate by standing on it it's as simple as that then just wait a while as you wait for the stupid bridge to be formed now i sped it up it actually doesn't take this it doesn't take as long as it looks but once it's formed you're just gonna head to the middle of the hellmouth and just drop right into it this glitch requires a sword and it really doesn't matter which class you're using it's really just a sword that you need you honestly don't even need it but it just really really helps now let's get to this glitch once you spawn in you're going to want to turn around to where there's a path that just leads to absolutely nowhere but the abyss now you're going to want to jump into this abyss and then sword your way back and make your way back to this safe plate where it will take away your weight of darkness. Now be careful, sometimes the weight of darkness will come right away and you might not be prepared for it and you'll just fall off the map and die. Now Titans is really good for this if you have higher jump or just the regular jump in general like I'm using uh, increased control, it works very well. I honestly figured out that for me it worked better than a uh, greater height the greater height jump as you can see i just switched to it and i mean i was trying it out and it the glitch or the exploit whichever you want to call it it it, it was working but it wasn't going as well and as fast as when i had it on increased control if you are a hunter, triple jump and bones of EO works wonders for this. So, like I said, you're going to want to keep jumping off the map and sorting your way back. Now, as you continue doing it, as your rate of darkness is going to start to stack, it's going to start going up by 1, which it usually does. Then it's going to start going up by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then finally 10. Now, you need to go through all the numbers before 10 before actually getting to 10 and the only thing that will reset this is death or obviously you go to orbit now it's not that tough there's kind of like there's a ring here and then there's kind of like a bump right before the path there's like a little bump you want to jump right there right after it like right when the path starts you want to kind of time it right now i'll show you here just kind of like a freeze clip of this little bump about where you should be starting to jump to get this weight of darkness now i'm going to speed the clip up and show you every time it starts to stack so when it goes up by two three four five six seven eight nine then finally ten just to show you how i do it it does it does take possibly um a decent amount of time but uh once you get used to it then it's just gonna be no problem easy to do in the gameplay you see in the background it looks a lot longer than it actually is once you get used to it and you get good at it it is really not that long so don't be offended
anyways guys there you go that's how you do this glitch or exploit like i said whatever you want to call it once you hit 100 weight of darkness you pretty much absolutely cannot move you cannot slide really it doesn't matter like once you hit 50 or even like i'd say 30 40 you start to really become slowed and movement is almost impossible so if you and your fire team want to challenge yourselves you can try and complete this first maze part with 100 weight of darkness like i said you can go to the lamps and take off some of your weight of darkness so that maybe you can slide or get a little bit of some more quicker movement one of the ways that you can definitely move much faster is by using a sword or using supers like for instance blade dancer you can propel yourself forward and same with sunbreaker you can use sun charge so i tried trying to do this as one person and it did not work very well because also if you use a sword it has auto aim so that means basically that when you want a sword forward even if you don't want to go for enemies your sword is automatically just going to bring yourself towards the enemies and pretty much you'd have to kill them all before going forward and this first maze part is all about enemies you're not going to go somewhere where there are no enemies so anyways good luck if you do do the challenge thank you for watching please subscribe for more gameplay and content and i hope to see you all in the next video